Empress Zhong Yang was a political pawn used by her own grandmother and was often in her shadow. Through her grandmother's political machinations, she was forced to marry her own uncle at the young age of 11. After she married him, her grandmother, Empress Lu Ji, constantly ordered her to bear him a son, but she remained childless. She was even an empress dowager at the age of 14, but she was politically eclipsed by her grandmother. At the end of her life, she died lonely and forgotten. Let's unfold the tragic life of Empress Zhong Yang. Empress Zhong Yang was born in 202 BC, to Zhong, Prince of Zhao and Princess Lu Yuan, the eldest daughter of Empress Lu Ji and Emperor Gaozu. Prince Zhong had earned a reputation as a highly respected son-in-law, admired for his noble character and esteemed position within the imperial family. However, two of Emperor Gaozu's counselors asked him to be a part of their conspiracy to assassinate the emperor. Prince Zhong firmly refused. Unfortunately, when the conspiracy was eventually exposed, he was arrested as a result. Upon further investigation, Emperor Gaozu discovered that Prince Zhong had played no role in the assassination plot. Recognizing his innocence, the emperor granted him a pardon. But, as a consequence of the incident, Prince Zhong was demoted from his previous position and given the title of Marquis of Xianping. Three years later, Emperor Gaozu's son, Liu Ying, ascended the throne as Emperor Hui. However, Emperor Hui showed little interest in the affairs of the state and frequently indulged in a lavish lifestyle. As a result, Empress Dowager Lu Ji was the true ruler. The Empress Dowager decided to strengthen her power and secure her son's reign by choosing one of her kinswomen to marry her son. The person whom she chose was her granddaughter, Zhong Yang. In 191 BC, the 11-year-old Zhong Yang was forced by her grandmother to marry her much older uncle, creating a politically strategic alliance within the imperial family. Thus, Zhong Yang became empress. Even though it was considered incest in the Han dynasty, Empress Dowager Lu Ji was so powerful that no one objected to the marriage. Empress Zhong Yang's marriage would last three years. During her short marriage, Empress Zhong Yang tried every means to get pregnant, but she remained childless. She eventually adopted seven of her husband's sons. Some accounts suggest that Empress Dowager Lu Ji ordered the Empress Zhong Yang to kill her son's birth mothers. When her husband died in 188 BC, one of Empress Zhong Yang's adopted sons ascended the throne as Emperor Xiao. She was made Empress Dowager at the age of 14, but she wielded very little political influence. The true ruler was her mother-in-law and grandmother, Empress Dowager Lu Ji. When Emperor Xiao discovered that Empress Dowager Zhong Yang was not his biological mother, he was angry and wanted to get revenge on her for lying to him. However, Empress Dowager Lu Ji prevented him from acting on his thoughts of revenge by secretly assassinating him. She quickly installed another of Empress Zhong Yang's adopted sons to the throne, Emperor Wang Yi. Following the death of Empress Dowager Lu Ji in 180 BC, the Imperial Lu family sought to eliminate the Lu clan, to which Empress Dowager Zhong Yang was related. Empress Dowager Zhong Yang was afraid that they would kill her for being related to Empress Dowager Lu Ji. Fortunately enough, the Liu family did not execute her. Instead, she was sent to the North Palace residence for deposed empresses. She lived there until she died in 163 BC. Empress Zhong Yang was a political victim that suffered under the hands of her powerful grandmother. One can only imagine the horrors and trauma this overshadowed empress experienced.